So here I am in the heart of Davos, now where all the world leaders, business leaders are sitting down talking about the global issues of the day. The most important place to be is right here in front of the CNBC sanctuary where David Hertz and his team are cooking for everyone. But David, there's more to just cooking for everyone here in Davos, isn't there? Explain to me about social gastronomy and everything behind it. Okay, social gastronomy is a movement of chefs, of change makers, everyone in the society can use. So using the power of food and gastronomy to bring dignity, opportunities, well-being to people in need. And also to address these main challenges of the world, hunger, malnutrition, poverty, lack of jobs, and also how to rethink the food systems around the globe towards food and people, using food towards people in need. So we started 10 years ago training kitchen assistants. Our organization is called Gastromotiva. But we saw in the last four years there was more awareness from the chef's community and also more need that we could, you know, address. So we have a food program on education. We changed the life of more than, we helped to change the lives of more than 100,000 families in Brazil in the last four years. We also support entrepreneurs. And now we just joined a venture with Massimo Bottura, which is like number one of the world, the chef. It's an honor and a privilege to work with him and journalist Alexandra Forbes. So we partnered and we wanted to leave a legacy for the Rio 2016. So we did a state of the art food cooking school restaurant that addresses all these issues. So now we have a food hub, a social business. Actually, we have a house that we can discuss these issues, but also serve food for underprivileged people, homeless people out of food waste. So we are disturbing, we're also learning and seeing how this social gastronomy movement can address all these issues. How important, David, is the platform of Davos and being here in the heart of the World Economic Forum? You know, I'm a YGL since 2012, and I'm also invited here as a cultural leader. So I think culture takes place a lot into understanding, to bring in knowledge, as Massimo always said, from knowledge to consciousness. And I think we talk a lot in that, you know, and there is a lot of business meetings. But what if you experience and you meet Luis, who lives in the favela, and you talk to him, and what if you eat out of cook uh, out of food waste? So for us, it's important the experience of people to come here and see how we have an answer that can be replicated all over the world. But also, we want to also launch here a social catering business. We have seven receptions. CNBC hired us. We are also partnering. But this is a new idea, it's a new option for the future, what, what we eat in Davos, which is the most important. If we start from here and the CEOs and government see that we are working here in Davos in partnership with Publicis and the World Economic Forum, with you, CNBC and WPP, then we can really address the issues because we need to understand more. That's what I learned in 10 years. When you experience, it gets to your heart, and then it changes something that you can make a change. Now, David, what do we have here? There's all sorts of things going on. This wonderful chef, what is he making here? Okay, uh, here is, uh, we have three days. So, the first day is feijoada. So, feijoada is one of the main dishes of the food. Everybody knows it's a bean with all sides of pork meat. But this is a vegetarian one. You know, also when we talk about food systems, we also don't want to only cook with meat, which we know is one of the main problems towards environmental challenges. But again, when we work with food waste, we have to be open to work with everything. And this is a vegetarian uh, feijoada, and it's cooked by Luis. Ah, uh, Luis, how are you, Luis? Good, are you Every enjoying day? it? Very good. Good. Yeah. And you tell me about ta, ta your... Yeah. 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 Tell me, what are you offering here? What are you offering? We're offering feijoada, which is a typical Brazilian dish. A typical feijoada from Brazil. Fantastic. Wonderful. And you've had many customers. Tem muito cliente. Sim, muito. I think bom. I think a hundred, as you know. Yeah, just in half an hour. <laughs> Luis, it looks wonderful and it's, it's steaming so much. I think people want to come and they want to get warm by it. Então as pessoas querem ficar com calor aqui, né? Porque está tão gostosa chamando, mas também a. So, David, we're going to come and see what else 
you have to offer here. Luis is here with the traditional dish, of course. And we're just going to move over here. And David, what can we find over here? Okay, here we have farofa. Uh, it's made out of manioc flour toasted. And we did, we, it's yellow because there is dende oil. But you know, when we started to think about this menu, we partnered with a Swiss chef. How can you do this from Brazil? And I want to talk to him to introduce you to him. Yes. But one more thing about Luis that I think it's very important to address why Luis is here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Luis lives in uh, Maré, which is one of the most dangerous places in Brazil. Yeah. And I went to visit right. his house. Yeah. Uh, and he lives right at the edge where the gangs are looking for territory, fighting for territory. But he, Luis had a dream. He wanted to study gastronomy to become a cook. But they, the courses are so expensive. So he looked for gastromotiva. He tra was trained as a kitchen assistant, and when me and Massimo saw him six months ago, he said, he's going to be the cook of refetorio. So he uh, hosted 80 chefs, like Alain Ducas, Juan Roca, Virgilio Martinez, all the, Andoni, all the best chefs of the world that went there to cook for one night for the homeless Amazing. people. Amazing. And how he is the cook of refetorio nowadays. Luis, congratulations. And how did it change your life? Como mudou a tua vida? Mudou muito porque uh, hoje eu me sinto mais feliz. It changed a lot. I'm happy today. Porque hoje eu faço o que eu amo. Because today I do what I love. <laughs> And, uh, e como que é para você liderar essa cozinha? Para mim é um, é um grande presente. É uma honra poder é, trabalhar com as pessoas que fizeram o curso comigo. Aprender e poder passar o conhecimento para eles. It's a great honor because now I'm teaching others that when in the, were in the same situation as I, and I can empower them because I become uh, an example. Luis, it's a great pleasure to meet you and talk to you today. Continue the good work. Foi legal falar com você, continue bom trabalho e um prazer te conhecer. And you have many customers, Luis. Look. Você quer experimentar? It's wonderful. Quer, quer experimentar? Do you want a taste? Of Give course, a spoon. of course, of course. Okay. And here you have all everything here, David. Yeah. Yeah, we have our brochure, food for change. It yes. tells us, you know, the opportunities on how companies can engage with Gastromotiva, like strategic partnerships. We have dinners. We're doing a fundraise dinner in Paris in September at Yannick and Eno restaurant. So we want to have here to impact this project. Other companies now are sponsored by Coca-Cola, by Stella Artois, Carrefour. So, but we need more. We need more because anyone can go into this movement. But I want to show you something that I, it's a food for thought. Yes. Like we have all the environmental issues, but when we talk about food waste, it's even like a, a drink. We brought a drink because this was going to be expiry date in March. And uh, it, we're learning so much about food waste. And I think it, it, it's so the, important. Now. And it's at the crossroad yes. of everything of the future. You know, we have enough food to feed all the people who are hungry in the world. We need to sustain it and to recycle it. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. yes, yes, yes. But I would like to introduce you to Esteban. Esteban, I understand, uh, he's a YGL. We are friends for four years. And he's got a bottle, he's drinking it. <laughs> and he just became the but Minister but of Education in Argentina. And we're taking a strong motive and all this movement to Argentina with him. Now, David, hold that thought because it would be very rude if I don't try Luis's wonderful okay, creation. Luis, Luis I'm going to try one little bit and I'm sure. Not throw it, they get it to cost. Fantastic. Thousand, uh, yeah, that's Fantastic. <laughs> Delicious. Thank you so much, Thank Louise. Obrigado. 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 You, it's you wonderful. So, David, that was absolutely delicious what yeah. I tasted you like there. The of, uh, absolutely. And now we must talk to the, Absolutely. We're going to come over here, follow us. It's all happening live in Davos. So don't go away. Here he is. Here he is, yes. How are you? Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So how are you working together with this wonderful young man? No, I'm working for him. He's the ah. boss. <laughs> He's, He's the boss. boss. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're, I mean, we, I met uh, David for the Young Global Leaders Network, and I love the project he built in Brazil. So we're trying to do the same thing in Argentina. We have very similar problems, 
and I think uh, food is a very important component of our culture, of any culture, but of our culture too. And we want to use food and, and cooking as a way of social inclusion. How important is it, though, for Argentina to take David, David's model and what he's done in Brazil? What are the challenges you're facing there? Well, the most important one, I think, is uh, this idea that we can you know, be humble enough to look at solutions. We, we need to make a good idea and spread it around. And uh, I think this kind of networks like the global leaders make this, this possible. And so today, uh, through a lot of the policy we're doing is grabbing ideas and trying to promote them. This is a great idea. So we're going to be... The, the biggest challenge is don't give up. You know? yeah. He doesn't give up. <laughs> well, you too. He yeah. never gives up. And David, how important is it for you, this relationship with Argentina? You know, it all starts like we have the same vision mm -hmm. and we put things into action. As a YGL community, we are able to get to know one another yeah, better in a yeah. deeper way. And we've been always talking it's about this. Like this. But now going to Argentina and Brazil yeah. and Gastromotiva, yeah. as he mentioned, are the same problems, like similar it. problems. Mm -hmm. There are so much opportunities. Yeah. And I think when Esteban is as a minister and all his I, I met his amazing people, his amazing team that also want to put this into our. So it's not about Stephen, it's about a need of a country and an action team that wants to make this. And we're not bringing our model, we're building a new model for Argentina because it's not like what it works in Brazil, it works there. And we learn all of that going to South Africa, going to Mexico. Nikki's the one responsible well, for this expansion. Well, let's bring Nikki right now here. Nikki, you're <laughs> growing the business, and how are you doing that? Well, I think we have, after 10 years, a model that works. So you have a basic methodology and you can take it everywhere because you have a growing hospitality market everywhere. And you have, like, Esteban, thank you. Esteban, thank you very much also <laughs> no, 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 for talking no, no, no. to you. I didn't mean to just push you aside <laughs> for Nikki. Nikki, Nikki. Nikki pushed you. She did. You should have seen it with no, Forrest Whitaker yeah, before. I tell you, the man, she <laughs> But he <laughs> loved it. And he did, he exactly. did. Esteban, yeah. thank you. Esteban, hopefully next year the cook's going to be from Argentina. Here we yeah, make our so all the cooks yes, from all our, yes. all our, all our, all our everywhere. Everywhere. It's from Argentina. It's well, thank you so Argentina. much for, for talking to and us. I'll see you guys tonight. And good see luck. Tonight. Thank you. Take care. And Nikki, so oh, yeah. how, what are the most important challenges for you that you have to face to grow the business? I think usually it's really getting the strategic partners on site that people understand because it works in Brazil, it works in Mexico, in Africa. So for them to see that it could work in both countries, so once people get it, it's a very easy sell and everyone gets on board. So getting the university to collaborate, or getting the investors usually then goes very smoothly and organically but um, at the beginning it's it's a hard one to get but one first that believes just like it happened at the Olympics I don't know if David was telling you if yes. Vittorio Gastromotiva but once you have he's disappeared he ran I off was David, David, <laughs> I was freezing I'm <laughs> sorry I, I, I was freezing I'm so sorry well it is about minus 10 here in Davos but that's fine because David and his wonderful team are warming everyone up so David and Nikki Please come. Let's go back over to where we were before, and I just want you to explain, Nikki, for us and David, just uh, your catalogs. So you have food for change. You have no waste. Let's taste. How realistic is it that we can recycle food? Well, uh, I always heard of it, but now imagine a refectorio gastronomy we get every day at least one truck of tomatoes or bananas. We had bananas all over the Olympics. It's just too much. We could have, have like uh, 20 refectorios in the city of Rio. Our main supplier, this is important, our main supplier is the biggest supplier for Brazil for fruit and vegetables. Every day 120 trucks go out only of his business and they come back 20. With all the wasted food and the incinerate. But out of the 20, you can see so many people. You can, yes. So we are now only feeding 100 people a night. We are going to make other business out of it. We're going to make an ice cream factory with Massimo, just out of food waste, create business. But yes. not only that, as a hub, fine with our strategic partners such as Cargill, how can, uh, and the state government, how can we all work together in collaboration to end those 20 trucks? Because, you know, especially in the city of Rio, there are 5,500 people living only downtown Rio in the streets. But it's a long term. Well, I, I'm just learning. I'm very humble that uh, as a chef, I need to be very creative. But again, every day when I see tomato, 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 
me and said, can you just stop? Yeah. Don't send me more food. No, don't. Yeah. And, uh, but for me as a chef and for us, all of us there, it's amazing because it's a playground. It's a playground. And we cook with all our best, our love, not only because there are people in need, because we cook for them. As the same as to Esteban and the president, as we cook for them. So we're talking about food waste for dignity. David and Nikki, unfortunately, we have to wrap it up now. But just the last word from both of you. Here you are. It's so popular. Everyone around Davos is coming to see what you're doing. What is your final message to everyone? Nikki, you first. Be part of the social gastronomic food movement. We actually have principles that everyone, as an industry player, or somebody just at home can put into practice and support us. So we'll be collecting signatures of everyone to then start the movement with everyone here in Davos to really make a change. I believe you and me, Nikki, will not take no for an answer. No. David, your final message to everyone here at Davos. You know, to the people in Davos, get to know Luis, get to know the people who really need your help. Because after you engage and eat with them, after you engage, you know how much power you have to change everyone's life. And hashtag social gastronomy. Going to Gastromotivas, you know, Facebook, social media site, and Refetorio Gastromotiva with two It's teams. all coming out now. It's all coming out. <laughs> <laughs> We're more well, prepared this year. David and Nikki and to Social Gastronomy, good luck to all of you. And thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for all your kindness. It's always amazing to see you. It's wonderful to see you.